Ginseng is something we know for thousand years and mankind used two or four thousand years. It's something is used for several thousand years. Could mean that this is good for people. And I want to see this in the, in the lab with the humans. So why now? Because we now live in the world where there is a lot of chronic disease. Because every medication for modern disease are prepared in the way that they have efficacy and toxicity. So where the efficacy is a little better than toxicity, we need something new. And I think the ginseng is probably prime candidate. So we have to go back in history, see what people use for, and see what we can do in the lab, in the clinic, in the hospital. So that's why I'm interested in ginseng. It's safe and very promising. But ginseng exhibits various pharmacological activity, depends on the type of ginseng or saponin. So it seems that it depends which one of ginseng that we use, there could be different applications. So we have to look what ginseng we can enrich and concentrate in order to affect disease more efficacious. I would say, I don't know, maybe almost 10 years, we were looking for someone who can produce material for our studies. And then we learned that one of the ginseng enrichment, which could be very useful in our study of cardiovascular health, would be RG3 ginsenoside. And I sent actually people in, in Korea and uh, in China, and we were lucky to come across Dr. Ho, president of the company, who actually provided a sample of material. And then uh, I got this in, in Toronto, and we actually did preliminary study in human, in people, to see whether this could do the purpose, and we had very good results, initial results, that BTG can produce this material in, in, in larger quantity uh, for massive, for human consumption, because we don't need for animal research for little quantity or for, for some in vitro research. And since then we use BTG as our main supplier of most active gene cell cell material. RG3 is certainly a unique uh, saponin or ginsenoside and you can not find in any other ginseng. You can only find in Korean red ginseng but because of the, of the heating process, etc., but in small quantity. So we needed concentrated material that can produce this effect and which would be many times higher. So we believe that RG3 based on mm, other studies, but also especially our study, has great potential in regulating what we call vascular health, but basically, so I, I think there is a great potential of RG3. But this is just one of the things in what we study, but could be many multiple effects. I mean, product that I used uh, on, on my study, or basic studies, we did several studies, um, is, it has very interesting properties in an area we do, which is cardiovascular health. We look at many different ginseng, didn't find this, and this is the first time that we found uh, interesting or, or multiple uh, properties of ginseng, uh, RG3 and rich Korean red ginseng. So this is our, if I may say, our crown study of ginseng after a quarter of century in people who all had hypertension, all have diabetes, all treated with the best medication in, in diabetes, well controlled. We gave ginseng, RG3, and we gave basically placebo. When we compare these two groups, then group on RG3, reduce blood pressure significantly throughout the day, day and night, incredible lowering, especially in the morning where it's important. And then also interesting something that, I don't know whether this, this is of interest of company, but was interest of us in clinic, is that can also reduce blood lipids, cholesterol, LDL, etc. Because I actually never saw anything alike that can affect three factor beyond medication. So it's very promising.
Sang. Don't study only, only, only Jim Sang. I do a number of stuff in clinic and look at the in effect on blood pressure. And the only way you can regulate blood pressure called this DASH diet, famous DASH diet. A lot of vegetable or, and eat a lot of sodium, so these are called DASH diet. That can eventually affect blood pressure of people. If you study other ingredients, supplements, whatever, you know, herbs, uh, ginseng, whatever, food, uh, they have actually neutral effect. And we were pleasantly surprised that one simple kind of, if you like, material supplement could have such pronounced effect on blood pressure uh, compared to best non-conventional means uh, apart from medication effect, which we consider to be clinically relevant, being different and being powerful.